it's match day and and today we're playing Sunderland. Sunderland? Yeah. Is your favourite player playing? No. Who's your favourite player? Cresswell. Why's Cresswell not playing? Because he got a red card. Who did he get a red card against? Crystal Palace. Oh right. Did he deserve a red card? Yeah. What do you mean yeah? I thought he was your favourite player. He was grabbing everyone down. Oh right. A bit controversial. It's a nice day as match day. Sunderland. November. Nearly November. Sun's shining. It's really nice. October. It's October. Are you sure it's October? Yeah. But it's nearly November, really. What I'm saying is the sun's shining and it's it's winter. Yeah? Is yeah. that alright? Getting told what to do here. We're just about to fall into Stratford. Let's give you a little view. We're just walking up to the stadium now. They've installed the new digital screen. I'll show you closer later on. Just zoom in on it a minute. If you can see that there. No, I can't really see it either. It is actually on. Um, it appears not to really show up the picture very well in the bright sunshine. Anyway, fortunately this is England and we won't have much bright sunshine. Right, let's get down onto those boats. There they are over there. A lot of construction work still going on, as you can see. Loads of it. You ready, mate? Yeah. Let's go. All right. Yeah, good, thank you. Right. Going down to the boat. Oh, sorry, I've got my mic. Have a mic? Going down to the boat now. Nice to see we've got a bit of a police presence, so that should uh, help things. Not that I think they've any... Oh, hello. Hey. What's this? What are you doing? Why are you coming up? Blocked off? The park's blocked off the, the footway to the path for some reason. We can't get to the boat, so we have to go the really long way. Have you got a sore throat? No. Your voice is not quite as loud as normal. Probably because... No, you've been on the bevy since nine o'clock. So the path's blocked off? Blocked off completely. There we go. Well, nice to see you fellas. You too. Have you been drinking already? No. He has. Have you? Yes, sauce is huge to be fair. Sauce with Tom down since half nine. <laughs> Deary me, half nine is breakfast time. <laughs> look at that, look at the lovely, look the water glistening off the, uh, the what's it? What's the word, Tom? Water. 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 I, I was looking for canal, actually. <laughs> yeah. Right, so it looks like we're going to walk the long way round to the boats. Yeah, there's the big screen. Is it brightness or contrast? I always get confused. Well, whatever it is, I think they need to turn it up a bit. Can't really see it. What do you reckon that's happening with that big screen? It's not really working, is it? Yeah, it's not half and half at the minute, isn't it? Half and half, yeah, but it's not working in the bright sunlight, is it? Not at all. It looks quite bad, actually. I prefer the other one at the minute. Okay, team's in. Charlie, Charlie's got no Wi-Fi, so Charlie can't get the team in. Tom, have you got the team? Tom's getting here from 
West Ham Central coming through with the text team here. Can you tell us the team, please? Adrian, yeah. Guiati, Reed, Ogbonna, Obiang, Noble, Fernandez, left wing back, Antonio, I'm guessing right wing back, Lanzini, Hyatt, Lazaza. Decent. Decent. Matthew. Charlie, just very quickly, your views on uh, Fernandez playing left wing back. I don't know about left wing back because I've never seen him play there before, but I really like Fernandez. I think he's a top quality signing, give and take, but um, I think he's got the potential to be a great player and got a lot of talent. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in a different position from the fourth. All right. I'm calling you Bumsy. Screens are working better now. This is crazy, we're actually having to go back on ourselves to a totally different part of the stadium to try and get into the stadium. It's absolutely crazy. I guess all the, um, I guess all the, I don't know what it is, maybe it's the searches or something like that. Geo's had to pick me son up and we'll have to run off just so we can try and get to the game. Absolute madness getting in, absolute madness. Kickoff must have been a couple of minutes ago, so we're going to try and make our way. We're a long way from our seats. Five minutes ago, we're a long way from our seats. <laughs> His pants are showing. <laughs> Very festive. We, we've been so delayed, so delayed. We're trying to go up to the stadium now. Come on, hurry up. We've missed it. We can hear cheering. I don't know if they've scored or we've scored or anything. It's still nil it's nil. Still nil, nil. To him. Thank you. Still nil nil. Blimey! Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know what we're cheering for. Crikey! Yeah. Then you go. Then you go. Thanks, yeah, mate. Uh, mate. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, Good man. Thanks, mate. Okay, blimey! I'm Forever blowing <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> We missed it. What's going on? What just happened? West Ham nearly scored. Brilliant. West Ham nearly scored. West Ham on the attack again. We've only been in our seats two minutes and uh, West Ham have had two attacks. So that's got to be good. Looks like Kiate is in possession of the ball at the moment and we're uh, attacking down that right side where it seems like Antonio is, uh, is operating. Crowd seem a good voice, and of course, just there. I don't know if you can see. There he is. We've got um, Fernandez operating. Oh. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh. Oh. We nearly scored again. Come on, you Irons. The stadium's loud. The stadium's loud, but things are going well. Fernandez, Fernandez. Whoa. Good bit of play from West Ham. We're definitely looking like we've got an attacking formation.
lovely bit of work from Antonio, a lucky son. Another really good effort from West Ham. Fantastic, playing really, really well. Be absolutely amazed if we don't win this game. Bilic prowling the touchline. Crowd are really loud. Come on, play out your little beauty. Surely the, uh, the, uh, the keepers in the middle of the goal, Gio, just want, said. That, you know, side, so, there, yeah, he's not picked a side. Come on, play out you beauty. Give us some it. Come on, mate. Come on. They've got a guy. They've got, oh, no, they, they don't know whether they're, they, they're holding the line or playing offside. He's doing dances like Strictly come dancing, the fella. Oh, no, they've done something sneaky. Noble, Mark Noble, oh, come on. Oh, all right, well, something a bit different. Another right player for the yeah. We've got another free kick. <laughs> lovely, lovely piece of work uh, by Fernandez. He cut inside from the left wing and produced a lovely shot. I don't know what's going on with a referee at the moment, but they're having an argument about something or other. There's the Sunderland fans. They're pretty quiet today, to be honest with you. West Ham on the attack again. Payet, they're fouling Payet quite a lot. Right, Sunderland have got a free kick. It was Fernandez who brought down the guy. It was right on the edge. You can probably see from the video. It's right on the edge there. That was um, his first test. Just spoke to Gio. Gio said that was Fernandez's first test. Up until now, he's played pretty well, to be honest with you. And we are, in terms of the time, it's yeah, 31 minutes in. So hopefully they don't score this. a load of rubbish. Thankfully that was an absolutely rubbish free kick. Yeah, a little spell of pressure for Sunderland. A couple of free kicks, few throw-ins. They've been camping out in our um, half. It's uh, what's the time there? 33 minutes. They've had the last three or four minutes have been all Sunderland to be perfectly honest with you. So there we go, fans are starting to sing, make a bit of noise. What's happened so far? Um, we've hit the post and we've, um, we've had a couple of chances from Zaza, but that's, um, but that's it really. I think we're quite fortunate here. It doesn't seem like Sunderland are ready to commit enough players forward to score a goal. Defoe just had a little attack then, but he was surrounded by four West Ham players. So I don't think they've got enough numbers forward uh, to score a goal, Sunderland, never mind quality. Worryingly, if you look at, I don't know if you can see how much of the pitch you can see at the moment, but if you can look at Galeri at the moment, he's on his own. I don't think we've got enough numbers forward to score a goal either. OK, Gio. Gio, let's have your opinions on the game as we start to attack with Lanzini. Very flat. Um, and their keepers made one save to my memory, which is straight down the middle. 17 minutes on the clock. Suddenly they're time waste already. They've had a couple of cramp um, now, but 
I don't know what it is. I think we're just lacking urgency. Sunderland are happy to go from A to B with one pass. We seem intent on doing six passes to get from A to B. I'm not sure what it is. Slav's got one change left. It could be crucial. What do you think so far, mate? Rubbish. Rubbish? I know rubbish. Okay, so why do you think it's been rubbish? Because in the second half, we haven't had that many chances. Sunderland have been better than us in the second half. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. I think the crowd are starting to get quite frustrated, to be perfectly honest with you at the moment, and you can sort of understand why. It's uh, 79 minutes gone. And uh, we've, we've gone like for like in terms of substitution. So, Faguli has come on for Antonio, and Zaza has gone off and been replaced by Caleri. So, as Gio said, we've only got one substitution left and we better make it count. Fortunately, possibly, I think, Sunderland's best player, Watmore, has gone off. So, that may be good, but they've come here for a point, Sunderland, today. And, uh, well, we've got that too well. That's, uh, we're on the attack now, that's Fernandez. OK, it looks like we're getting primed for another substitution. It's hard to see exactly from here. We think it might be Fletcher. So it'll be interesting to see who he takes off. Lanzini, to be fair, Gio just predicted that if we made a substitution, that Phillips would take off Lanzini and he wouldn't take off a defender. And I think really what he was suggesting was we need to take off a defender and have one more attacker. It's weird. Let's hope it... Ashley Fletcher's a tall guy. Obviously, I, I think we're playing to try and get a cross in there. Let's hope it works. Okay, faguli has been taken down a wide position. We've got a corner, um, a free kick from a wide area, which is with Fletcher on the pitch in the middle and Payet with his set piece delivery. Could be a really, really good opportunity for us to to do something, to get a goal. It, we, we, we need a goal. We need to win this game. There's no doubt about it. JK. How many times have you been to this stadium? Twice. Twice, have you? But what? But I've technically been three times to watch the Olympics. Okay, all right, fair, fair enough. Um, what was the first game you came to? In this stadium? Yeah, the first West Ham game. Um, Southampton. Oh, did we lose? Yeah. How much? 4 0. Was it? Yeah. That don't sound very good. Okay, so this is your second game? Yeah. We need a goal, you need to see a goal, you need to see West Ham score a goal, don't you? Yeah. Do you think we'll score? Probably not. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, four additional minutes. Sunderland are on the attack. Probably the last kick of the game now. I don't know if we can get anything from it at all. Ah! Ah! See the team score a goal. Yeah, we won! We won! Come 
on! <laughs> For clap! For clap! clap! Unbelievable! I forever blow with bubbles, breathing bubbles in the air. Lay by someone, till it reaches the sky, and light my dreams, I find that night. Oh, she's always my dear. Until talk a good game. The proverbial 94th minute winner. Yes! We, we, we maybe didn't deserve that. There's a pitch behind. That's crazy. What do you think? Great. Are you happy now? Yes. We're going. We'll do the analysis later. We'll talk a good game on Amateur. Have a look. Uh, subscribe if you can. Unbelievable! What happened? What a boring rubbish match and we won! Unbelievable! Well, slightly mental, I've got to say. Can't really think of another description. Uh, we're going to go back to the boat to record some Google game, as I might have mentioned a second ago. That was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, apologies to Graham Taylor. I've muck, I think I mucked up the sound at half time, so I've got your interview in, mate, I'm afraid. I will definitely get you in and get you on on the next home day. Come on, you irons. At the bowling ground, Winston, Winston Reed, Winston, Winston Reed, Winston, Winston Reed. Who's got the last at the bowling ground, Winston, Winston Reed? How late did we leave that? We mugged them off, didn't we? Never in doubt. How you doing, alright? Alright, mate. Tough, eh? How late did we leave that? Listen, that's another bit of luck. Two weeks on the trot, apparently we missing out this. Look how many fans we got. Poor. Mate, we didn't play well. We didn't play well at all, and we got three points. So I have a good side plan, Baron, wouldn't he? Crazy. Fine. Fine. Crazy. Nice one, lads. Go on, you iron. I know I said I finished the vlog earlier, but there's the boats. They're ready to receive us. We spent the last couple of hours on the boat. The bridge. There's like all those fantastic West Ham fans leaving now. We're going to go down there. I thought we were going to drown our sorrows, but we're not. We're going to celebrate a victorious win through our quality striker Winston Reid hello hey, mate, good man good man we got it you said 1-0 you, you said 1-0 you, you did we right. bloody will take 1-0 mate hey, Mike, Mike. Hey. hey never in doubt Mike never in doubt oh it was in doubt it was in doubt he's a non-believer to be perfectly honest with you I was a bit of a non-believer as well myself right we're gonna go and enjoy ourselves I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I had some sound issues in the middle of it. Apologies. I'll sort it out for next time. But you know what? I think we captured the emotion of the last minute winner. So, well done. Come on, you irons. <laughs>